Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problems of weekly contest 3 to 4 and today we will be discussing the like in this video we will be discussing the problem cycle length queries in a tree okay so this problem totally uh, is uh, like this problem is totally related to the graph theory concept like uh, you need to know the concept of binary tree as well you need to know the concept of you know uh, lowest common ancestor maybe like you know uh, it uh, the concept of lowest common ancestor doesn't come into the role while solving the problem but you need to be aware about uh, uh, what is the lowest common ancestor of two nodes in the tree uh, basically you need to trace the path in this question okay so without wasting our time let's try to understand this one you are given an integer n there is this complete binary tree with two raised to the power n minus one nodes okay so there is a complete binary tree so you need to know what is the definition of this complete binary tree otherwise uh, there is a definition given to you also over here the root of that tree is the node with the value 1 and every node with the value val is will be in the range from 1 to this one has two children the left node with the value 2 into val and the right node has the value 2 into val plus 1 okay and also you are given a 2d integer array queries of length m where queries of i is ai comma bi for each query you need to solve the following problem you have to add an edge between the nodes with ai and bi you have to find the length of the cycle in the graph okay so while when we are adding the node between the ai and the node bi then you need to find the cycle uh, that is being formed remove the added edge between the nodes with values ai and bi okay so uh, you are going to first add the edge between node ai and bi then you are going to find the length of the cycle in this graph for the particular query then you are going to remove that added edge because you need to perform the rest of the queries also okay note that a cycle is a path that starts and ends at the same node and each edge in the path is visited only once and the length of the cycle is going to be the number of edges visited in that cycle there could be multiple edges between two nodes in the tree after adding the edge of the query okay so you have to return an answer of length m where answer of i is the answer to the ith query okay so let's try to understand this problem in detail okay so uh, like you have been given the complete binary tree okay so a complete binary tree is nothing but you know uh, you have uh, you have the binary tree being complete so uh, i'm going to tell you with the help of an example suppose uh, there is only one node so this is also uh, this is not a complete binary tree so you have to, uh, the complete binary tree will be something like this okay so it would it it may contain three node it may contain node something like this like each node will have two children okay like you can uh, consider with this one like two raised to the power n minus one nodes okay so uh, it can also be something like this like each node will have will be having two child nodes you can see this uh, type of binary is going to be complete okay so when you try to fill up the values between the nodes you have to start from one uh, let me change the color so you are going to write down one then it would be two then it would be three similarly one two three four five six seven again one two three 4, 5, 6, 7, then we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, now you can see when we have the level, level of the binary nodes as let's say uh, L, then we have 2 raised to the power L minus 1 nodes in the binary tree. You can see here L is 2, so you will be having 3 nodes. Here L is 3, so you would be having 2 raised to the power 3 minus 1, which is 7 nodes. Similarly, here you will be having 15 nodes okay so uh, what is the uh, actual query that we need to perform let's try to understand that suppose we have a binary tree a complete binary tree which is something like this one we have two and we have three and again we have four again we have five again here we have six and here we have seven okay so this is a complete binary tree and in a particular query you have been given the value of ai comma bi okay so uh, for any instance let's assume that ai is this node and uh, let's say bi is this node so we have the query as 5 comma 7 
okay so what the problem ask you to add an edge between these two nodes so we are going to add an edge between the 5 and 7 okay so let's say we are going to do this one and let we are denoting it with a black color okay so you can see there is a cycle that is being formed and what is the uh, you know structure of that cycle we have this one then we have this two then we have the element 5 then 5 is connected with 7 then 7 uh, like 1 is connected with 3 and 3 is connected with uh, 7 finally okay so we have this cycle what is the length of the cycle the length of the cycle is going to be number of edges uh, that is being present in the cycle so 1 2 3 4 5 okay so 5 is going to be our answer for this particular query okay so uh, how you are going to uh, find out the answers efficiently okay so let me give you a small hint for this complete binary tree so uh, whenever you are at a node node with value let's say value equal to x okay suppose x can be 6 x can be you know 5 also x can be 3 also anything so so what is the id of the parent node okay so let me write down uh I of uh, parent node uh, it's p1 and id of uh, child node is going to be called as c let's call it as p and c okay so uh, p is going to be c by 2 and c by 2 is the integer division okay so there is a relation between the id of the parent node and id of the child node whenever you want to uh, go to the parent node whenever you are trying to find out the id of the parent node with the help of child node you just need to perform the division integer division of the current id of the child node okay let's try to confirm it let's say we are at 7 what is what will be the id of the parent node so integer division of 7 by 2 which is going to be 3 so yeah we have this id and that is being correct which is 3 okay so what will happen if you try to find out the parent id of this 3 so we'll perform 3 by 2 okay and it is going to be the integer division so you will get the value as 1 okay so uh, whenever you want to get the id of the parent you can just divide uh, uh, divide the id of the child by 2 and the division is going to be the integer division okay now how we will try to find out the length of the cycle so that is being going to be important okay so uh, let's try to analyze this with the help of another example uh, let me take uh, this type of example 1 uh, 2 then we have this 3 then we have this 4 uh, we have 5 we have 6 we have 7 and let's try to make another level we have 8 we have 9 we have 10 we have 11 we have 12 we have 13 we have 14 we have 15 okay so these are the nodes of the complete binary tree and let's say we need to find out the parent like we need to find out the length of the cycle between 10 and 14 okay so let's try to retrace the path from the root node to the 10 as well as to the 14 okay so let's try to find out the path from the root node to the 10 as well as path from the root node to the 14 you can see the path will be something like this so this is the path okay so uh, let me write down the path in a different way so it would be 1 1 being connected with 2 2 being connected with 5 5 being connected with 10 so this is the one of the path 1 2 5 10 okay and let's try to find out the another path which is uh, going to be from 1 to 14 so it would be something like this okay so 1 3 then 7 and then 14 okay so this is going to be the uh, you know the path for the two uh, like for the two uh, uh, values ai and bi okay now you can see uh, let's try to uh, analyze this path uh, in a separate uh, position like let's say we have one of the path as 1 2 5 and 10 okay and what is the other path let's try to write down over here 1 3 7 14 okay 1 3 7 14 okay 
now uh, like the value uh, this is our ai actually and this is our bi like ai is 10 and bi is 40 now the uh, you can see one node 1 and node 1 which is the root node are actually same okay so we can replace this part with a single uh, one so let me use an eraser uh, i think okay uh, yeah so uh, we'll just write down a one over here let me change the color also uh, we're having this one and one is connected to two and one is connected with three okay now the problem asks you to just join the edge between the ai and bi this is the required edge okay so you can see uh, you need to find the length of the cycle right length of the cycle okay so don't you think if you are able to find out the length of the path from the root node to the value of ai as well as the root node to the value of bi you can just find out the length of the cycle as well okay if you are able to find that then uh, you are done al almost okay so let's try to find out the length of path from root node to ai and let's call this length as l1 and similarly our l2 will be length of path from root node to uh, bi so we have two lengths l1 as well as l2 and can we find out the relation between l1 and l2 such that we need to find out the length of the cycle okay so length of the cycle okay what will be the length of the cycle okay so let's try to relate between this one so what is the length of the path from root to l uh, root to ai in this case it will be like you know 1 2 5 and 10 okay so we have the length of the path as 1 2 and 3 number of edges okay so let's write down as l1 plus okay and we have the l2 as 1 3 7 and 14 what is the length of the path it is actually going to be 3 and here uh, here also it is 3 so l1 plus l2 okay now you can see a uh, node 1 uh, where it is the length bit uh, like the node 1 and 2 here we are adding one edge and here we are also adding 1 and 3 okay so from node 1 we are adding two times okay the edge uh, going from node 1 we are adding two times so we will subtract by one because it will be replaced by only a single one and uh, uh, give me a minute I think I am doing something wrong uh, sorry I am really sorry so uh, we, are ha we are having this 1 to 2 then we are having 1 2 to 5 and we are having 5 to 10 right and we are having 1 to 3 and we are having 3 to 7 we are having 7 to 14 so what is the length of the path from root node 1 to the AI it is 1 2 5 10 which will be going to be L1 and from root to BI which is going to be L2 so we are just adding l1 plus l2 now we should add one more step plus one because it is going to be you know when we are joining the edge between 10 and 14 we are adding one more edge so our answer is l1 plus l2 plus one so this is our answer l1 plus l2 plus one okay so uh, overall let's try to find out the length of the cycle one two three four five six and seven seven is going to be the length of the cycle and let's try to find out using this formula length of the path from uh, root to node uh, root node to ai it is going to be the 3 this value and here also length of the path from root node to the bi it is going to be 3 over here so uh, our answer is 3 plus 3 plus 1 that's so simple okay so that is the concept that we are going to use it okay so one more thing you can do it by uh, using the concept of nodes also what is the number of nodes okay uh, one more thing i would try to add up over, over here is you can see the length of the path is going to be number of nodes minus one okay length of the path is going to be number of nodes minus one okay so uh, here also i am just using the concept of l1 plus l2 plus one okay so you can replace the length of the you know l1 as well as l2 uh, with the concept of uh, like the le length of the path is going to be number of nodes minus one okay so this concept you can also use to just uh, find out the what is the length of the cycle that you are going to have so let's try to look out uh, look out the code how it is going to be implemented 
uh, I hope it is going to be visible. Yeah. So uh, we are having this answer that will store the answer for each query. And for each query, let's try to find out the path for each of the nodes. We have the, the node AI as well as BI, X0 and X1. Let's try to find out the path 1 and path 2. So uh, we, we try to jump to the parent each time. Okay. While this X0 is positive, similarly X1 is positive. And the root node uh, ID is going to be 1. So we'll just try to uh, push back the current ID X0. Then we'll just divide it by 2 to get the parent ID. And we'll just reverse the path. Okay. So uh, we uh, after reversing the path, we will be having the path from node 1. Okay. Uh, one more thing, uh, this part is going to be quite tricky. Suppose we have this, uh, let's take an, another example. And let's try to understand this one. Okay. So, uh, can I erase this part? Okay, no issues. Uh, let me take a, another example and let, uh, let me try to explain you. Uh, we have this node 1 and we have this node 2. We have this node 3, let's say. And we have this node 4, 5, 6 as well as 7. Okay, suppose uh, node AI and BI is something like this, uh, where it is, uh, yeah, this is AI and this is BI. Okay, so this one and this one. Okay, so when you try to find out the path from the root node, it would be something like this 1, 2 and 4. And here you would be having 1, 2 and 5. Okay, so when you try to join the nodes between 4 and 5, it would become something like this. Let me write down. Uh, this one so your cycle is nothing but this one your cycle is only two four five okay so if you write down the path one two five and if you write down over here one uh, sorry it would be one two four for the first path and it will be a one two five okay now you can see some part some prefix of the path must be uh, must be same like you know one two one two okay of the path it can be like uh, it can be uh, many more nodes also so suppose the path is going to be P1, uh, P11, P12, P13, P14 and it is going to be something like P1N. This is for the AI and let me write down for the BI also. P21, P22, P23, P24 and it is going to be something like P2M. So okay, so some prefix of the path must be same. Like you know, if uh, uh, like it can be only one node also, it can be only the root node. As a root node is always going to be the same, so P11 and P21 will always be same. So it can be some uh, set of nodes, some prefix of the path must be matching. After that, we are going to have the cycle. Okay. Note that this node two is also the lowest common ancestor. Lowest common ancestor of the nodes AI and BI also. From that point, we are going to have the cycle. So we need to try to eliminate the sum prefix of the path which is going to be same that will not contribute in the length of the cycle. Okay, so that uh, that is what we are going to do. Okay, so we'll try to eliminate. So while L is the uh, okay while L is the length of the path one, uh, like it's strictly less than the length of the path one, and R is also going to uh, have uh, like valid index. And while path one of L is going to be equal to path two of R, we just uh, increment L and uh, increment R as well. Okay. So what would be the length of the cycle? Okay, it would be SZ minus 1, like the total uh, nodes in the path 1 minus the current L and total nodes minus path, like total nodes in the path 2 minus the current L plus 1. This is going to be the answer. You can just frame out the answer mathematically by adjusting some one or two variables. You will get this value. Okay. So this is all about this uh, code. And uh, the complexity of this code is, you know, for each queries, uh, like you will be having Q queries and number of queries is 10 raised to the power 5. And each time you're just dividing your uh, value ID by 2. And in worst case, it would go up to 30. Okay, because the uh, number of nodes is going to be around 2 raised to the power 30 or something like that. And each time you're going to be divide, uh, dividing by 2. So you will get at most the length of the path 1 and path 2 around 30 or 29 something. Okay. So, okay, so for each query, your operation would be working in O of something 2930, which is a constant, okay? So, your queries are uh, performed efficiently. So, let's try to check it out for each test case. Yeah, it is working fine. So, if you have any queries, you can reach out to me through the comment section of the video. And thank you for watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe.